Hello guys, KP Shamino here with my first video for a new game that I started to play. Uh, it's Gunsmith Simulator, so I already talked about this game that I had a lot of fun in the prologue. Now I bought the game because it just released and I'm going to give you guys a first look. So it's just to start, some things that I saw. I see already a little bit later in the game very cool things that we can do. So there is an auction house that you can buy guns. My guess is that you can optimize those guns and then sell them with profit to other buyers and all that stuff. So that's a little bit the end game. Uh, I think you can do the milling yourself on that moment. You can put scoops on it. So it's a little bit more free to play later on in the game than at the start. At the start you just need to take jobs. You need to most of the time clean a gun. Uh, you just replace the components that are damaged and then you sell it again. No, you don't sell it, but you put it back to the client. So I'm going to show you guys that in this video. So I just did a job. I already got in my head a couple of more videos ready. Small tutorials that uh, people are going to miss because there are some things that you can miss in this game. Because what I saw in the prologue was that there is a lot of eye for detail. It looks very sharp. The settings are good. Everything is fluenced. I didn't saw one uh, bug uh, the, the time that I played now. And that's really good. And I like games that look good and got eye for detail. And I saw that already in the prologue. And that's something that I like. So let's get started. You start with simple uh, workplace. And you got everything here. Uh, so I'm just going to st give you guys a start a little bit later. If I'm further in the game, I will show you guys the milling, how it works, the leather working, the metal working, because everything is here that you can do. Here you can put the scoops on it. You can modify your gun. Here you can uh, paint your gun. So everything is here, but that's something for a next video because I don't have the experience at the moment to show you guys that. And I always need to know... Uh, the game before I talk about stuff in the game. I think that's normal. So what do you need to do at the start? Very simple. You got a computer and your computer is the main hub of everything that you need to do. You can buy stuff here. So we will have a look here. And the menus are very simple. Left click on the mouse is enter. Right click is get out of it. Escape. So what do you got here? You got your mail. So... Uh, this is the mail. Then you got the gun smith service. Here you will find everything that you can do now. So people are going to give you a job. They send your gun and you need to repair it. You can see it right away. So here you can take what you want to do. For example, if you just want to do maintenance, you click here on maintenance. and You see all the jobs that require maintenance. Uh, so if you want to do a repair, you will see all the jobs that require a repair. And a little bit further, you can see all... The, the manufacturing things that you can do but that's a little bit a bit later that i'm going to do that so we are going to keep it simple then the next one is the the shop because if there is equipment damage you need to replace it and there is a lot of equipment you guys can see it here uh, so uh, that's something that I will show you guys a little bit later too because we are going to clean and repair a gun that I already did so I already did it that I know what is coming because I'm still a noob. I just started to play this game. Then the next one here you can see all the, the, the mods that you can put on the, on the gun. So the attachments you will find them here. And then the last one this is very interesting. And that's something that is later on in the game is going to be very fun. So you can buy guns here and then you can sell them. You can get alerts too, so if you want to find a certain gun, so you can collect them or you can just buy them, you can just modify them and then sell them for a little bit more money. But this is, I think, a little bit more the end game. So here the fun is going to start and that's really cool that they put this in the game. So that means that you can go free to play. So you can do what you want and you are going to start uh, collecting guns and you can start working on the stats on guns because every gun got stats in this game. You can make it better accuracy, the weight and all that stuff. So this is a little bit the end game. I'm excited for it. So I'm going to play a lot to get to this stage in the game. So first of all, we are going to take a job. So let's have a look. I already did this one. So basic checkup on my Mossin. Uh, so I'm going to accept this. It's $120 that I'm going to make. And of course, they pay the replacement spare parts too. 
So you need to repair it, you need to take it to the field, and you need to test the operation. So first of all, how does it start? So the client is going to send the gun, and you will find it here. This is a little bit the mailbox, and here you will find it. And I like this a lot. So the guns, they come in like uh, boxes, especially uh, for the that kind of gun. And here you can see a really nice wooden box. Really cool. Very good detail. You see the... I think is it leather in in this box to protect the gun and here you can see right away all the settings that i talked to you guys so accuracy range power mobility handling weight rate of fire clip size so i'm not a gun expert but i think after i play this game i will become one to be honest so let's get the gun you just need to take here start work and this is very simple so first of all what do you need to do always you need to put it here on the assembly table it's very simple so you can play it blind so you guys can see it here if you hover over an item it becomes green and then you can uh, disassemble it that's very simple but you can push control too so if you push control left control you see all the things that are in green you can get them off and here at the right you see that i need to disassemble 24 pieces and then this gun all the pieces are on the table you will see here a blueprint too that's very handy how can you put the the gun in the air you just keep clicking on it you see pick up and then you do the mouse at the top and now you can turn it around with your middle mouse button you can scroll and uh, if you like to do this you can do this too it's a little bit easier. If the parts are a little bit bigger, it's a lot easier. So we are going to disassemble this uh, this gun. So let's take this one off it. And they put it nicely on the, on the part. So most of the time you start with the gun. You take all the bigger parts to a certain area. And then you can uh, disassemble the smaller parts. And then smaller and smaller. And then you're done. That's what I always do. So I start with the gun. Take like the medium parts from it. This one can i take this one yes and this one and this one so here i need to take the screw here we go let's have a look i think this one and then we can take the the barrel of it no okay it's very simple of course if you don't want to do that you can play like this too so uh you just take the gun, you don't push control, and then you hover over it. I don't think that you can put it off. I, I was searching in settings because I know there are a lot of guys, die hard simulator guys, but I didn't found it in controls. So maybe it's possible that you don't see the green and the red. So that you just, uh, yeah, need to do it blindly. But I didn't found it. I know people always ask that. It was the same in car simulator. 2021 so here you go then we are going to take this off and i think we are almost done let's do the control yeah i think so if you just right click it so now all the pieces are good so now we got all the medium pieces and now we need to disassemble the smaller parts so we are going to start with this one the smaller parts I never throw in the air. I just do it here on the table because it works a little bit better. Yeah, I need to pick up this, of course. So if you uh, want to disassemble it, it does not work. It means it's not laying at the right way. You need to put it in the air again. So keep pushing left mouse, put it in the air, and here we go. And then we can see it a little bit better. So here we go. We take this one. And I think these are right. Right click. This is okay. Now this smaller one. I think this is okay too. Now we go a little bit. Because you can go with your mouse. Uh, not with your mouse. But with your left keys. You can do this. And then you scroll. It, it works really well. But you need to get the hang of it a little bit. I need to put this in the air too. So let's go a little bit closer. Let's get this off and this back on the table. And why did, uh, did this stuff go back? I think this is not right. I think this is a bug, no? Because I already disassembled this piece. 
And now I need to do it again. Okay, now it's good, yeah. Do you guys see this? This is not right. Because that's now the third time that I got this piece out of uh, this part. Now we are going to do this. Because I already saw that uh, I did this already. And I came back from the shooting reins. And I started before this contract. So that was a bug too. So now I'm going to save if I'm, uh, I, if I'm done with this, uh, this contract. And this is a lot of work. So you need to disassemble a lot here. Here we go. Still five pieces to go. Here is another one. I missed one here. We have four to go. I think we need to do this part. Entirely still. And this one. I missed even one here again. Yeah, need to pick it up again. Okay, this one. This one. This one. And somewhere I need to get a, a spring that's over here. And then we are done. Then the work is done. So here we go. And what you need to do now is now you got you got right away information. What is broken? What is dirty? And what is good? So first of all, you guys can see the barrel is broken. So we are going to order now the barrel in the computer. Uh, so uh, that's very simple. So you leave the table. You go back to your computer. What I showed you guys at the start. Then you go here to the parts. And here you can see the shopping list. So first of all. You need to be sure that you're on the right weapon. So I'm going to put here now Mosin. And that's the one that I need to have. So that's good. And then here you can do Barrel. And this is the one. So this is $350. So you just do it here. Then it comes here in the cart, in the chopping cart. You click here and you buy it. So now we already got the barrel. And where is the barrel coming? Of course, once again, here, where all the post is coming. So be sure that you pick it up. And then we are going back to the table. We click here on the table. And we are going to replace the barrel now. So here we go. This is already okay. So the part that was damaged, because the client said there was a part damage, is already okay. Another thing that we are going to do now is now we are going to clean. And where is the cleaning table here at the left? So there are a lot of parts that we need to clean. You just need to pick up this. And then you just need to clean it. Once again, just the same. You can scroll in. You can move around with your left keys. And then you just do this. If you want to see what is still dirty, you can st uh, use control once again. I like to do it like this. You can see it visual with your eyes too. It's very simple. So if you do control, you see right away the red still need to be cleaned. Here is a little bit. Is it okay? Do I still need to turn it? Yeah, there is a small red dot. Next one. I like this. It gives me a good feeling. I don't know why. But uh, cleaning guns and parts. Like it's beautiful and new. Like this. Here we go. I think the other side. Here a little bit. I try to do it just with my eyes at the moment. But I'm missing a part somewhere. It's for, th for the details. It's very hard to see. Therefore I'm using control. Like the last bits of, of the cleaning. I'm going to turn this. Okay. I think it's good. Now the next one. This is a, a simple one. Not going to take that long. Just turn around. This is done. Yeah, I'm becoming a professional. Just turn around and clean. Seems to go really quick this way. If you keep pushing the, the keys. 
and then one more and then we are done and then we are going to oil it a little bit and then the gun is almost done then we just need to assemble it again and then we are done so now we are going back to this uh, table so now you can see there are like orange parts they need to be oiled so how do you oil it you just take the oiling rack here and you just go over it here we go this is number one here you just need to click very simple i need to get seven of them do i need to do this one yes this one this one this one and this one i think i missed somewhere one Is it this one? Wait. Ah, this one. Here you can see it. It's a small one. So that's done. So what we can do now. We cleaned everything. We oiled everything. And uh, now it's time to... Uh, yeah, we need to assemble it. But why it's red? This is not okay. So there is something not right. Yeah, I think it's just visual. It's okay. So, uh, this is good. So, you can hover over it too. So, this is now red, but the color is not right. That's all good. You can see it with hovering over the red things. So, yeah, let's get started. We are going to get the gun back in its place. So, let's get this. Ah, I know what it is. So, you cannot click the red, of course, because you need to... Uh, Assemble first the green parts. Yeah, I was a little bit a brain fart. So uh, let's do the small parts first. So this one. Okay. Just the same like we did at the start. I'm going to put this back. Let's get this one. Okay, this is okay. Now we can put it in this part here we go okay that's already a very big part on now we are going to assemble this part we need to get the spring Okay, that part is done too. Let's put it back on the table. Now let's do the small one here. And this. Ten things still to do. I think that everything is now together. We are going to put the gun in the air. Because now it's only the, the big parts that we still need to do. So we are going to put this at the top. Here we go. Then we are going to put this here. Here we need to take this one. This one. As a scoop, I think, to uh, measure the distance that you want to shoot. The same in hunting games. And then this one. Here we go. And then this one. This is the last piece. And then here is a very small one here at the right. So now the gun is ready. So finish the work. And what we are going to do now is, first I'm going to save. So there is a save, there is a load. That's not a problem. And uh, you need to put it in the car. Like this. And then you need to drive to the shooting range. So you got two of them. This is really cool. But I don't really got a rifle for this. So there are like guys jumping out. You got a red one. I will show you guys that. I'm going to show you guys that. But first we are going to the shooting range. Uh, so you can do a lot of stuff here. You can just start... Uh, you can just uh, shoot at, at uh, moving targets. You can shoot on targets that are just at one position. 
Uh, but I will make an extra video for this. So we are going to do this now. So this is uh, shooting without any restriction. You click here and then you accept. What can you do here? Very simple. So you can use this bench. So it's to remove attachments. So if you want to see uh, how far is how much better is my accuracy doing with uh, with that attachment? You can do that all here. So it's like min maxing with your gun, and you don't need to go back to the shop. But what you can do here in the free shooting is this. So you come here, and then you can click where the targets need to be: 20 meters, 50, 100 meters. So we are just going 20 meters. And there you see all the targets are here. You see at the top left how you need to shoot. And I can only shoot one time with this gun. So I'm going to shoot just like this. And then you can see what the accuracy is. You can do it like this to right click. Then you can scroll. You see 100 meter, 200 meter, 300 meter. I'm going to put it on 200 meter. And let's have a look what the accuracy is. This is for me really straight. I need to reload. Here we go. So that's really good. So the accuracy, you guys see now at the top left, uh, the green dot, it was almost in the bullseye. So that's really good. You can shoot like this too. So I need to reload again because I only got, oh no, I got five uh, bullets now. So here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Yeah, the gun is not good. The accuracy is so bad. That was right. Maybe I need to shoot like this. Yeah, this is better. So it's better that you shoot like this because it was just the same. So that's a practice. You can do a lot more here. You can do for points too and all that stuff. But that's something for another video. Otherwise, this is going to be way too long. I will show you guys really quick the other shooting range too. So let's put the gun back in the car. No, this is not good. Uh, I want to stay here because I think that's how I lost my gun the first time. I think it's gone again because i think you need to put it first in the car but i saved that's okay so be sure that you save the whole time it's always the same with new gum ah, i still here that makes me happy so this is the the a little bit more action shooting range so what do you need to do very simple uh, you need to kill the red guys so you see here a wire if you go through the wire there will be some guys i think it just start no no i need to still start it so uh, I forgot to do that. So let's have a look. Ah, it's over here. So we are going to start it. But yeah, this gun is not really made to do this. With my Colt, it was a lot easier. So press... Okay, here we go. So you just need to do this. This is a bad guy, but yeah. <laughs> you can see. This gun is not made for it. And then you can do a couple of rooms. You see the time at the top here. And that's how you need to do it. But I'm going to skip that. Because this is like a rifle to hunt. And not to do this stuff. So we are going back to the workshop. And what do you need to do now? If it works of course. We are going to send it back to the customer. And then it's done. So that's the start. It's very easy to do it. Uh, it's not... There is a lot of more into detail a little bit later, but it's a first look, you know. So let's have a look that I can do it now. Because the... the... No, it's gone again, I think. Let me have a look. I think I need to put it over here. Yeah, you guys can see it once again. That's a bug. So normally I need to send it back, but my gun, is it still in the car? No, it's still in the car, okay. So the first time that I did this, it was not in the car. Therefore, I thought it was gun, but it's still here. And this is something very strange too. So, so you need to push the cross to take it out. I hope that they just put here, take this gun. Because this is like, I don't want it, but here you need to take that. So it's a little bit strange that they put the cross here. Now we are going to put it back in the box. Here we go. We put it back in the mail. And now this is done. 
and uh, I leveled up a little bit. You can see it here. I'm already level two. And now we can send it back to the client. You just go to your computer. Here we go. Uh, current jobs. Send back. And then they send something back to you. Was it this one? No, it's this one, I think. So that was it, guys. There is one thing more. Yeah, I'm completed it. Did I get the money, by the way? Let's have a look. Yeah, I got the money. So that's how you need to do it, guys. So thanks for watching. Have fun if you do it. I will make a couple of more videos because I'm enjoying myself a lot. I'm not really a gun guy, but I need to say I like this gay game. Uh, it's like you got sometimes things with games. It's not that complicated, but everything that is in the game is okay. Still a couple of bugs, what I just said to you guys, but I think it, it's not game-breaking bugs. So I see you guys later. Bye-bye.